Hi, Little Eagles. It's Mrs. Beers. If we were at school right now, we would be learning about different types of planks. So since we're not at school, Mrs. Beers went out and found different kinds of plants to show you. The first one I want to talk about is called a succulent. This is my favorite type of plant. These plants store water in their leaves or in their stems. They can live in dry places. So I'm going to share my screen so I can show you one of my succulents. Okay, so here's my succulent. They're beautiful if you ask me, but they have very, very thick leaves and stems. Let me see if I can turn it up so you can see a stem. There he is. They keep water in there. They store the water in there. These plants can live in places that are very dry because they don't need as much water. They keep it in there on reserve just in case they don't have any. Like in the desert, if you think of a cactus, a cactus is a succulent. A cactus does not have any leaves, but it is a big stem and it stores water in its stem. Just um, if you have ever heard of aloe, like if you get a sunburn, that um, kind of sticky stuff that your mom might smear on your sunburn, um, it comes from an aloe plant and it is a succulent. It has really, really thick leaves that are full of that aloe gel. Another one I wanted to show you is called a fern. Here's my fern. A fern is a flowerless green plant and it has feather like shaped leaves. So I think these ones are pretty easy to find if you're walking out in the woods and you see some ferns. Um, they're, they look like feathers. Okay, the next one I wanna show you, it's pretty big, so I'm just gonna hold some of it under. Here it is. This <coughs> plant, is a conifer. They keep their leaves all year round and we call their leaves needles. If you think of Christmas, you usually probably get a Christmas tree. And if you get a real one, it is a conifer tree. So it will have its needles even in the winter, they are green. Another name that you can call a conifer tree or, or bush would be an evergreen because they are always green. Okay. And the last plant I want to talk about is a flowering plant. So unfortunately, Mrs. Beers doesn't have any flowers that in her home that are um, bloomed. So I had to go outside and I found one and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's definitely a weed but it doesn't matter. Any plant that makes a flower is a flowering plant. So hold it here underneath the camera so you can see. This one has some pretty yellow flowers on it. So again, any flower that produces, or any plant that produces a flower can be considered a flowering plant. So that could be a tree, like an apple tree, because they blossom, they have flowers or a dogwood tree. It could even be a dandelion that you could find outside in your yard. I'm sure so many of you have dandelions in your yard right now. That is a flowering plant as well because it produces a flower. Okay, so the other part of the video for today is I want to talk about the parts of a plant. And we're going to use that flowering plant today to talk about the different parts. So let me just get my notes. I don't want to forget anything important. So the first part of a flowering plant, of course, is the flower. So here they are again. There's that flower, that pretty yellow blossom there on the tops. Um, the flower makes seeds for the plant. So these will um, end up closing up and falling off and they will become a seed, whereas it will blow away, just like in that book we read, The Tiny Seed, the wind might blow it and eventually it will bury itself into the ground and then it will reproduce another plant. So the next part I wanna talk about is the stem. This one has a really 
thick stem right down the middle. Okay, the stem. The stem supports the plant. It contains thin tubes for carrying food, minerals, and water. So here's the stem. Okay, and the next part are the leaves. Here's a nice pretty green one. The leaves make food for the plant. They take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the air. And the last part I want to talk about is the roots. And we're going to make a little bit of a mess here because this one had some pretty thick roots. All right, so it's going to be messy. So if you look here, these pieces that you see, this here, this is a root. It's kind of nice and firm. And also these really tiny stringy things that you see are smaller roots in this plant. All right, these really skinny stringy parts are also roots. The roots soak up water and minerals and they also store food for the plant. Very, very important part of this plant. It's a nice big part of that root. It just kind of looks like dirt. It's just a little muddy is all. Okay, so those are the parts of a plant. Thank you so much for watching my video. Until next time, friends.